Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. In today's video, we're going to be going over a nice little concept in which the player's flashlight is going to actually lead the camera. So what I mean by this is sometimes in horror games mainly this is in, you'll see that the flashlight will actually move before the player looks in that direction, which again is just a nice little feature in mainly horror games, but it can work in any concept. So let me hit play and show you what we're going to make today. So it will work better if I go to a wall, but you can see the flashlight is going to move before the camera. So it's going to look something like this. So again, the flashlight moves, and then the player's camera follows it. So it's kind of like the player in real life would be moving the flashlight before they actually look over in a certain direction, like so. So this is what we made today, and you can obviously customize this however much you want. So you can change the speed at which the camera is going to move about as well. So this might look and feel a bit weird for you. So you can obviously again change it. But I personally think that this one looks quite good and works well for me. So this is what we're going to make today. So without further ado, let me just leave this code and I'll show you how I've done it. So the first thing we want to do is we want to open up our character blueprint, which for me is the third person BP. So that's content, third person BP, blueprints, third person character. Now for you, it could be third, first, or whatever you've named it. And in here, I'm going to go to the viewport and you can see that this is just a first person character for me. I'll just move that there. So again, for me, this is first person because predominantly that's the perspective we're going to want to be in. So this is my first person character. However, we do want to modify this ever so slightly. So the camera, I have parented to the mesh and parented to the head. We don't want to do it like that. What we want to do is have the mesh selected, add a component, and we're going to add a spring arm like so, because the spring arm is what's going to actually allow us to add a camera lag, or essentially the camera moving after we've moved the mouse. So we'll add the spring arm like so. Then we're going to drag the camera onto the spring arm, so the camera is parented to the spring arm instead of the mesh directly. Then what we can do is select the spring arm and just move this into the position that we want. So I'm also going to just rotate it to be behind and move it up to be at the head level. And I'm also going to parent it to the head like the camera was originally. And then again, just move this back into the correct position like so. So for me, it's 000 on the location and 0090 on the rotation. Then we're just going to rotate the camera and move that back into the correct position as well. So rotate it like so again make sure this is working perfectly and in the correct position it should be for you. Also it needs to move over ever so slightly so I can just actually reset the location like so. Then if we select the spring arm once again, I'm gonna decrease the target arm length until it reaches the size I want for where the player's camera should be. So for me, that's gonna be about minus 20, I think works for me. Obviously set this up to be whatever you like, but for me again, minus 20 is the perfect position for me for the player's camera location. So now this basically looks the exact same way we had it set up before without the spring arm, but we can now use the spring arm in order to enable this camera lag. So now in order to do this, what we need to do is on your camera, make sure that use pawn control rotation is false, so it is unticked. For you, it will probably be true, but we want it to be false. Then on the spring arm, we're gonna tick use pawn control rotation. So it's true on the spring arm, false on the camera. And that just means that we can actually use the camera lag, but still also be able to control the camera how we normally would. Then we're gonna scroll down and enable camera rotation lag, not the camera lag, that's for moving forwards and backwards. The camera rotation lag is for actually moving the camera left and right, up and down, sort of rotating it. And then you can change the camera rotation lag speed to whatever you want. The lower it is, the more laggy it will be. And by lag, it doesn't mean it's actually gonna be bad, it just means it will lag behind. So after you move the mouse, there'll be a bit more of a delay for when it actually does move. So I'm gonna set this to two. You can set this to whatever you want again, but two is what I used at the start of the video, and for me, that's just what looks best. But again, customize it to get it perfect for whatever you want. So we'll compile and save that. And that is now it's set up for actually having the camera lag behind when moving the mouse. So now all you need to do is add in the flashlight and make sure the flashlight updates normally. So I'm gonna add in a component, adding a spotlight, and I'm just gonna set the intensity to be all the way up just to make it visible. I'm also just gonna rotate the camera because I've just noticed it's not rotated correctly. And the spotlight again, what I'm gonna do is just move it to where I want. So I want it to be there, and I'm also gonna parent this onto the mesh as well, just so it moves how I want. We'll compile, save that, and then we're gonna go over to the event graph. In here, we're gonna right click and get event tick. So it's gonna update every tick or every single frame in the game drag in our flashlight or for me spotlight, drag out of this and set the world rotation. Now what we want to do is set the rotation of this to be the control rotation because the control rotation is where the player wants to be looking. So it will be where the player is looking, but again, because we've added the lag onto it, it's the target location pretty much and we're gonna be slowly going towards it. 
So we want the flashlight to be at the location we want to look and the camera will slowly make its way there. So I'm going to right click and just get control rotation, connecting that into the new rotation like so. Now we compile, save, and that should be the code done. So again, the flashlight is going to go to the location we want to be looking at and the camera is going to slowly go towards that location as well after the flashlight has gone there. So we'll close, hit play and test this out. So again, you can see that the flashlight is going to the location first and then we are. Now as we're moving, it's getting a little bit flashy and the rotation of the head is a little bit off. So you're just going to have to customize this to get it perfect for you, which is what I did before starting the video. So again, you saw at the very beginning, it looked slightly differently. So we'll go to the viewport. All we need to do is just move the spotlight further in front of the camera. So when the player moves, it doesn't overlap the flashlight like so. So that's going to work for me, I think there. And also just rotate the camera. So if we to minimize this, select our player, you can see the player's view there. So it's not entirely straight. So what I'm going to do is just disable snapping on the rotation so I can get a little bit more precise with it and then just rotate it until I think it's going to be straight enough for me. So I think something like that is going to be a little bit better. We can hit play and test this one out to see if it looks any better. And you can see that's a massive improvement already. So when we move, it's not flashing and it's a lot more straight. And again, you can see when we move our flashlight, that's going to go to the location before our camera does. Our camera is going to slowly go there after the flashlight, which again just gives this nice little effect that we see here. So I think that'll be it for this video, which we've done everything we want to do. What we've done is set up the flashlight, which is going to lead the player's camera rotation. So the flashlight goes where we want to look first, like so. So again, it's kind of more realistic. I can give off a good horror vibe as well, if that's what you're going for. And I've also shown you easy ways to adapt onto this and customize it to change it perfectly for you. So you can really go into a lot of detail with this as well, if you wanted to. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.